Okay, so it's time to take Android 12's legs off so I can replace the actuators at the hip and the ankle I've decided with the linear actuators that I made in the last part. I've also replaced the knees with these rigid links which we'll look at in a moment. So the whole Android has been built um, in quite a modular way on studding so I can swap out sections quite easily. In fact what I'm going to do is build new legs around the actuators and then take the knee, hip and uh, the ankle hinge module just so I replace those with linear actuators. So I've unplugged all the cables and if we unscrew this should find the legs come off. There's one. And there's two. So I just need to get the servos out and the gyros and everything out of the, um, at least the thigh and down at the ankle. <clears throat> I've got some more studding here, 6mm studding. Um, so I may well build the new linear actuator around this and then put the other modules on as I say. Or we'll see how easy it is to get these pieces off but it means winding the nuts off. So uh, we'll see how that goes once I've got the servos off. So I finished taking most of the pieces off, the old modules. With these ones I had holes in and they just threaded onto these. Now uh, the new modules I've made in a um, much easier way, so... Um, they're basically in two halves that fit over the... fit over the rods that way and then bolts go through them to clamp them together which makes them much easier to get on and off. So I've just spent quite a long time winding off these nuts that I use, and I use lock nuts for every one, so it's taken a very long time winding them off with this little 3D printed nut spinner that I made. I've still got a couple to do, and then we can put the new actuators on. I've already um, taken the servos out of the old pieces, and obviously I need to hack those for continuous rotation in order that I can build them into the new linear actuators with this slide pot, uh, which then measures the position and I've got my four slide pots ready to go which are all 100k linear pots from RS. So I fitted one servo in here which I've also hacked and I've um, taken the potentiometer out as I mentioned in the last part and wired these three wires to where it would go so they can go to the slide pot. Um, the gear on there in fact isn't 3D printed as I mentioned last time they came from an educational website called Mindsets Online. Um, you get a big bag of gears in multiple sizes um, so you normally get four on a thing like that, so I've taken the medium size one off. Um, you get a big bag, I think you get 20 sets for hardly any money. They're quite soft plastic, so basically what I've done is bored the hole out to 5.5mm um, and that just pushes onto the servo shaft, onto the metal thing, and then I've used the original screw and a washer to hold that in place. So it's quite good that the red matches. So I've just got to uh, modify the other three servos. And then we can put the linear actuators back on the legs. So I've now spent a few days assembling the linear actuators, so all of them are together. We'll see these parts slide on each one. The only thing I haven't done is put the chain drive in, um, which will actually drive this between the two gears at each end, one attached to the servo. I've installed the slide pots as well, although I haven't actually wired those in yet. So I need to wire those to every servo to give feedback on the position. And then obviously I need to make levers that go from here to here on the um, ankles. So that moves the ankles as the linear actuators move and then the same at the other end for the thighs. So um, a few bits and pieces to do and some more parts to print. So I've made this lever part now that connects the linear actuator to the ankle. So if I just give that a spin with my servo controller. Seems to work pretty well. 
It's actually quite a lot of torque on there, which is what I'd intended. So there we go, so now I just need to um, deal with the other end of this and um, attach a similar link to the hip. So that seems to work well. Uh, one problem I've had is um, in testing the linear actuators, um, I actually ran over their end stops and I could still hear the motor turning. And basically the gears I've used that drive the ladder chain are quite soft. I've been doing some testing with another servo. Um, basically the, the uh, inside of the gear just strips and the uh, servo just tears through it, which isn't what I want really. Um, and now most of the linear actuators don't have as much torque as they did. So um, I've been experimenting with 3D printing some replacements in ABS, which is much tougher. So here's one of the original gears that I had. And um, what we can see is that the ladder chain only fits in every, every two gears. So um, after experimenting with several designs, um, and several different sizes. There's a slightly smaller one. I've come up with these, which are 3D printed in ABS. They're much more chunky than the others. Um, and they're an extremely good push fit onto this servo. It's one of my servos I've been doing the testing with. So, um, in fact, if you have this servo spinning and you grab it with a wrench, then the servo stalls instead of it tearing through the gear, which is probably what we want. So after doing a couple of different sizes, we can see the um, ladder chain fits perfectly on there. So I just need to tear all the actuators down and replace all of the gears with these. So here's the whole Android together. Let's take a closer look at the parts. So those are the uh, ankle joints, which I mentioned before. And those are the new thigh hinges, which I've printed. And I've also printed these parts in red, so all the new parts are red. And those are the new uh, levers for the side-to-side -side motion of the hips, because the other ones had become a bit loose. So, on the whole, those actuators are incredibly strong. I actually hurt myself ten uh, testing them by putting my finger in to see how tight they would pinch it, um, which was a bit of a mistake. Um, so there's no doubt those will provide enough torque over the right level of travel to uh, hopefully make it walk. All that really is left is the old knees, which look a bit strange, and in profile, um, they're kind of set back because all the old parts were set centrally down this rod, and the new actuators are on the front. So what I'd really like to do um, is replace those, and in fact use these actuators with a lever to push the knee joint, and possibly shorten the knee as well, because the legs are getting quite long now. Um, and then put another actuator on the back of this one, because I can fit them back to back, and that one will actually actuate the thigh with a lever to this point at the back. Um, but for now I think the knees are going to be fine to make it work, so I'm going to leave them as they are. So um, that's all for this episode. Have a look on my website and keep an eye on my blog for updates. There's pictures of everything in detail, and eventually I'll be making all the CAD files available for download.